I am Marlene LaRue and I'm a proud woman with a disability. To be a Goodwill Ambassador for the Tigerberg Hospital is for me to give back. It, when this hospital means such a lot to me and it brings back so many fond memories of my belated light Adam. And all that I can just remember is the wonderful experience how staff and nurses have treated me sitting there in the reception. Because what, what makes Tiger Book Hospital so good is that I am not Marlin then with a title. I am Marlin the same as the woman who sits also with a child with a disability from Manenburg or Kailitsha. And that experience I will never forget. So for me is to give back to Tigerberg Hospital. I would like to talk about the specialized basket of care. Adam was cerebral palsy and he couldn't see, he couldn't talk, he couldn't uh, do anything for himself. And we called Adam actually the Rolls Royce of cerebral palsy because he had everything. Because I've decided when the doctor told me that Adam, I must put him in an institution, I've decided I'm not going to do that because my family didn't put me in an institution. And so my journey started with Adam. My journey started with Adam with physiotherapist, speech therapist, teach him how to eat, teach him how to interact with us. It was a 24 hours job. Till he passed on, on the 25th of August, the day after my mother's 75th birthday in 2017. And it was a journey of love, a journey of light, a journey of not easy at all. But he was more light to me. But it was a journey to taught me once again that life owes you nothing, is what you make of it. Tigerberg Hospital, we must understand, it is a public health care hospital of the Western Cape. And it needs to adhere to the standards of all the public health care standards. And most important, in the diversity of South Africa. So it's equality and equity. And I will explain it to you like this. We can never talk about equality if we can't speak about equity. I'll make an example. We will have two cerebral palsy children, two mothers, and we will sitting in the same seminar. And we will get the same treatment and the same information. How to get to what is the treatment that I can get to and at Tiger Book Hospital. They will explain to both of us, Tiger Book is the best. I walk out of there, I will have a car to take me there. I will be at means to go buy myself a sandwich on the way to go to Tiger Book Hospital. That same mother that was sitting next to me won't have a car, won't have something to eat to get to the same facility that we have just been and been exposed to in the seminar. So that's why I'm saying 
to be able for me and that mother to be equal. You need to look at the equity needs of that parent. That parent needs transport and that parent needs somehow something to eat, to be able to sit through the day that her child can go through all the treatment to help her, that child and also to train her and her carer or whoever comes with her from the community or a family member to go home and to implement the knowledge that they've gained back into their community with a beautiful child and angel they're taking home. I'm extremely humbled, privileged and so honoured to be part of the Tigerberg Hospital Trust. And to know that we can do more, but we need support. To mothers that is out there and to fathers as well, and to the community. Here we have a world-class primary health care facility. And this facility is for every single body. This facility needs your assistance for funding. And it's not just monetary. There are many ways that you can contribute to this wonderful healthcare facilities. But to the broader community, this hospital is accessible. This hospital is on your doorstep. This hospital is in Africa. It's in the Western Cape. And I, who are disabled, was privileged to have a wonderful boy with cerebral palsy, experienced the care, the kindness, and the high standard of healthcare at Tigerberg Hospital. Mm -hmm.